Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm with my boyfriend Brett here. I asked you guys to submit some assumptions about our relationship, so let's get right into it. Make sure you guys smash the like if you want more content with Brett. First assumption, multiple people said this, you guys have an open relationship. That is not the case. Yep, we are monogamous. Why do they assume that, by the way? Maybe because my only stands. Yes, that's probably why. Yeah. Someone said, y'all seem kind of gay. Well, that would happen because we are gay. Uh, your assumptions were correct. Let's give them a kiss. Okay. It's pretty gay. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty gay. Probably mm -hmm. the gayest thing I've done today. <laughs> Actually. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> You want to read it here. All right, difficult because I feel y'all defy stereotypes, but I assume Brett is a driver all the time. Let me tell you something, I'm driving right now in this video. Right? I don't know if they meant driver as in like top or I'm I'm just gonna assume they meant literally driving, which is true because yeah, I usually you dr always drive. I drive when we go someplace. Sometimes I don't though. He and typically I'm the passenger princess. Yeah. Which I like being. He's very backseat driver with me too. No. Uh, yes, you I are. I never say yes, anything. Yes, you are. Never say okay, anything. Okay, give me an example then. Never mind. Well, only when he's getting road rage. <laughs> which isn't often. Which isn't often. <laughs> I assume that you wear Brett's clothing, but he has never worn yours. You have worn my clothing a lot. Yeah. I definitely would not fit into yours, but that's not entirely true. At that last photo shoot, I wore one of your shirts that you wore. True, yeah. yes. So, Guys, I have a music not video. Not a photo shoot, music video. Original music video is coming out. Brett did technically wear one of my shirts in it, so I guess that counts, but usually he doesn't. Anyways, stay tuned for the music video. It should be coming out sometime in November. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on. There is a hotly debated topic. People saying Brett is the top, Chris is the bottom, Brett is the top. People saying I'm the top, people saying you're the bottom. Right. Have you ever gone to Crispy yeah. Creep? Was it Crispy? No. Yeah, right, right. Right. I just, I'm always shocked by gay men that they need to know this. I'm in the top position right now. Yeah, you are. You're, yeah. Or is it bottom because I don't know. I'm like riding bitch. Yeah, you're riding bitch. You're right. <laughs> you're my bitch. You're riding bitch. Um, next assumption: you don't shave your balls. Actually, I usually keep them trimmed. Speaking of balls, let me tell you about today's sponsor. In a recent poll on my Instagram, I asked gay men how they prefer their partners. Down there, a whopping 84% answered either clean shaven or trimmed. With this information in mind, allow me to introduce you to today's sponsor. Manscaped. Personally, I used to struggle trying to use a razor to shave down there. Yeah, not my best idea. Dealing with razor burn afterwards was never fun. But those days are behind me thanks to Manscaped, the world's premium male grooming brand. Specifically, the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a cordless, waterproof, electric trimmer, perfect for trimming in the shower. It has an LED light, anti-nick technology to prevent nicks and cuts, and even comes with clips so you can get the perfect length. Not too long or too short. So, what are you waiting for? Your balls, and probably your next date, will definitely thank you. Lucky for you, I'm teaming up with Manscaped to offer you guys 20% off, plus free shipping when you use my code GATAR20 at manscaped.com. Thank you so much to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to the next assumption. Shout out to Manscaped. I, I bought them before anyone else did. I thought that was yeah, so Brett cool. Yeah, Brett actually had them before they even yeah. sponsored me, so. You just want to groom a little bit. You know, you don't want to get crazy. Mm -hmm, you don't mm -hmm. want to get crazy. All right, so you are obsessed with personal hygiene. So I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but there are some weird things that I do in regards to personal hygiene for sure. Yep. Brett, give some examples. He has all these like creams for his face and I'm like, you look fantastic. What do you need? Okay, that's just skincare. <laughs> no, well. <laughs> My got... skincare is not even bad compared to some of these other gays. That may be, that may be true, but for someone who has great skin like you, it seems a little overboard. When I eat a burger. Oh God. Chris cannot deal with the smell of hamburgers or subs when he's eating them. So he puts one. No, 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 no. I like the smell when I'm eating it. <laughs> I always just hate how afterwards my hands will smell like it. Fair so enough. I wear gloves to eat it. He'll put these rubber gloves on his 
on his hands. I'm I, so weird, but I, like, will I feel so like someone post- out there is going to agree with me. Like, next time you eat a burger or a sub, just smell your hands afterwards, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So the problem is, is he doesn't like it when the hamburgers smell of my hands also, so I have to go wash my hands after I eat um, before I sit back down to the couch. All right, can I sit in the front for a few? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Brett cooks way more than you do. Deary Gibbles. Yeah, I mean, I guess, right? I would uh, say a little more. There's nothing nicer than coming home and not have to worry about cooking. I do appreciate it. Sometimes he'll take the initiative and start cooking before I get home, so that's awesome. He is your sugar daddy. And actually, I'm Brett's sugar. That's right. Sugar bit. What do you call that? Sugar, sugar baby? Sugar boy. My sugar boy. And you're, nah, that's weird. You're the sugar baby. Sugar baby. No, sugar baby is the one who lets the... Let's people pay for Oh, that. okay. So you would be my sugar baby. Okay, I got you. Brett is an older version of you, AKA time travel. Okay, that's, all right. So Ron Star 39 was stoned when he wrote this because that's a that's a crazy, uh, how are you an Wait, older version of you? me? Only you would know if you were, <laughs> I wouldn't know, only you would. This actually is a time uh, traveling motorcycle and I traveled back in time so I could date myself. This one was an interesting one. I assume people know Brett through you instead of Survivor. What's the typical ratio in public? Well, that's interesting. I think that there's equal amounts. Uh, I have been with Chris many times where someone recognizes me from Survivor and has no idea who he was. They recognize me right away and they say, oh my God, you were on Survivor. I'm watching your amazing race right now. Had no idea who Chris was. So yeah. I'm me. waiting for someone to recognize me as like Brett's boyfriend. Right. I want someone to do it, but. Someone did say to me, you're Stan Chris's boyfriend. And I was like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, this one's sweet. That you're a happy couple deserving of respect and honor. Oh, well, that's very sweet. Yeah. Oh. What's, what's that say, actually? What's his name? Eric, Eric 7100. 7, sorry. <laughs> wow, I'm not, even, I'm not even saying that. You say it. That's bizarre. All right. <laughs> that's weird. Someone said, Brett destroys your bussy. <laughs> First of all, when did we ever come up with this word? Like, when, when did this become acceptable in the gay world? Like, what year? Because I have ne- I never heard about this until I started dating I you. Think it you was had some like, video or song about it or some shit. And I was like, what is that? I think it was in like 2018 or 2019, mm. maybe 2020. Bussy is funny though. It's kind of like a meme and that's why I like it. So it's ironic. You like it for like content purposes. Yeah, yeah I like it like ironically. All right, let's switch back. All right. Hang on, I just want to show them my outfit. He's ready to go for a ride on my hog. Brett is a homebody and you love a social night. I'll actually flip that around. I'm actually, uh, I like a social night. Chris is more of a homebody. I actually do enjoy just hanging at home with him. Sometimes that's really nice. I'm definitely more of a homebody though. I assume Brett loves to cook breakfast for you. Actually, I, I really do. Uh, that's like, like even a small- I was gonna mention this earlier during the cooking thing when they said you cook more. I was gonna say Brett always will make me breakfast. I mean, I've made him some, Yes. But the ratio is probably like 10 to 1 for like how much he cooks me breakfast. You, you have cooked me breakfast, especially when I was laid up with my knee. Yeah. He was really on top of making me a great breakfast every morning and he switched it up with avocado toast, and which I'd never had before, which I love now. Even this morning, I, like, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get up, make a cup of coffee and just start cooking breakfast. So, I assume that on average it takes you longer to get ready than Brett. IDK. Yeah. That is 100% true. Yeah. Brett doesn't really do, he just like gets in the shower. He's Fix up my hair. Just my, puts, I gotta push my hair All he does up. is his hair. That's the only thing he does. And it's like, it takes him like five seconds. He just mm-hmm. goes like, Voop. yeah, you're right about this one, Eric. You get a gold star. You're the blanket hogger. Mm. Are they talking about you? Yeah. I'd say neither of us are. We don't really like, I mean, do you think I am or you are? No, I, I would say it's gotten better. I, I would say you used to be the blanket hogger, but now now it's, we. I, I don't know, we sleep pretty good, so I don't think we, uh, I say we're pretty even. And that is the last question. So if you guys made it here, make sure you smash the like button. Here's a quick shout out to all my members. Make sure you guys are subscribed as well. And if you enjoyed this little Q&A, make sure you check out our other Q&As here because, I mean, if you want to learn more about us. Let's get out of here. See you guys later. Take care.